Look who's joining me today, my daughter Jolie. Catching breath, we are lazy. But that's not how we start the video. We always start the video with... Bom dia! Good afternoon, good evening guys. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. Today, walking this beautiful hike here with my beautiful daughter, Jolie. Luckily, I didn't agree yet with drinking a shot every time I say beautiful in my videos because then I would probably be now drunk already. But I'm going to do it once. I'm going to drink a shot every time I say beautiful. First, I need to buy a bottle of booze. And I don't know if I want to do that while she is with me. Or are you drinking already? No. No? No. You're not lying to daddy, huh? Eh? <laughs> Definitely not drinking? No. Nope. Not kissing with boys? No. Nope. Everything, no? Yeah. Oh, she's the perfect daughter. Guys, in today's video, um, I'm filming without my Rhodes microphone. Normally, I use this Rhodes microphone because it like gets rid of all the wind noise and all the noises all around me and it always only uh, films my sound, like our sound. So let's see if this works better because the mics was giving me a lot of shit music sounds in the last couple of videos. So I'm testing it today. If this is not working, I need to buy a new one. So sorry for the sound in the last two videos. In today's video, of course, again, speaking about family, blockchain and Bitcoin. So I'm starting with family. This is my family. Then we will go into the Bitcoin part where I will bomb you guys with some really cool Bitcoin charts. And after that, guys, talking about some Bitcoin news, blockchain news, then that again will be the end of the video. That was a stupid ending. Are you laughing at that? No. <laughs> okay, hell. So that is how I will structure my videos, guys. And I hope you really enjoy today's video. Start by giving it a thumbs up already because the intro with such a beauty is already magnificent. Enjoy the video, guys. Yes, we want to break free, guys. We want to break free from that retarded monetary system and we want to create a new one new one that is honest do you also want to be vegan are you vegan no. how can you stay so thin fuck off daddy with your stupid questions yeah. do you like the view mm -hmm. let's start with the family part of the video the family part is of course that we are doing this video today together but also that we now have a family token yes you heard it right the Bitcoin family has a family token and we are going to do really cool things with this in the future. How can you get these family tokens? You can't buy them yet, but you can earn them. And we are going to start today. Today, in this video, you will see a QR code. If you stop the video and scan the QR code, the first 10 people who do this will receive 500 family. I don't know the value of family at the moment, but I'm doing everything I can to give it a very beautiful value in the future. So make sure guys, you claim your 500 family token by watching the whole video. Yes, I'm going to put it somewhere. So you need to watch the whole video. So stop skipping this video like this 15 second skip, 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 because this family token will only be seven seconds. Let's make it seven seconds. No, six seconds. Yeah, six is more beautiful than one. I will only put six seconds of this QR code in the screen. So if you skip it 15 seconds every time, you will probably miss it. That was the whole family part because there is not much family news. Or is there anything else you want to tell them about our family? No, not really. No? no. Do you like it? Yeah. Or do you start to hate your dad because uh, you need to spend like 24 seven with him? No, it's okay. Serious? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Well, that's a surprise. Him. I thought she hated me. No. Not at all. That was really the whole family part, guys. So let's go on to the Bitcoin part because that's the part you're waiting for. You want to see the charts. So let's start with bombing you guys with some beautiful crypto charts. Let's start with a chart that you probably won't like because it's a negative chart. Let's start with this one. Bam! If I say bam, 
-hmm. You need to say bam as well. Um. You need to work for your money, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, you know, I pay my kids as well for uh, helping me with videos and editing and all that stuff because I want to make sure that they understand that you can earn some money by just um, investing time. So if she invests time in vlogging and blogging with me, she gets a small part of the profit of the YouTube channel. And if she edits the video, she gets a little bit more. So before you know it, guys, single guys over there, she will be a Bitcoin millionaire. Yeah. So then she's not only beautiful, but then she will also have Bitcoin millions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she doesn't believe it yet. <laughs> How high do you think? Listen to your inner self and the voice in your head. What is he saying? Which number? Um, it's just saying what you're always saying. I will go to 20 and then higher and higher. <laughs> and higher and higher. We are going to the moon. So guys, let's take a look at the charts and let's start with this chart. It's not the most positive chart, but it's a realistic chart. And as you know, I always share the truth, nothing else than the truth. Wait, I need to wait. And there we go. Bam. Bam! And then we have the chart. This chart, guys, shows you the traded volume. And as you can see on the chart, we have a declining volume already since March. Yes, we still have some peaks now and then. So we go up a little bit in the volume. But in total, if you look from the peak in March, every peak next is declining. So if we would draw a trend line from the top to the bottom, you would see we would be going down in volume. And going down in volume is not always positive because that means people are losing interest for trading Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. And as there is no volume, it is very difficult to break the next level of resistance. At the moment, we are fighting the 11... Bleh, bleh. I always do this. <laughs> she thinks, what the fuck? My daddy is pretty crazy. At the moment, we are breaking the 11K resistance. We are trying to break that one. But if we have a declining volume, we need to gather more friends into this industry that start to buy Bitcoin. We all need to start to create FOMO. Ah, Bitcoin is going up, it's going up. Snow. You need to buy now, buy now, buy now. So tell all your family to buy Bitcoin. Then we gather the volume and then you will be able to break the 11k region. But guys, the support level at the moment we, is, we have is around 10,500 US dollar. So yes, we need to break 11,000, 11,200 dollar, but the support is around 10,500 dollar. And this you can see on the next very beautiful chart. And here we go, and bam! <laughs> and there we have the next chart. And on this chart, I always think that people at home are doing bam as well at the same time, but um, probably they won't. On this chart, guys, yes, you can see that we have two scenarios. One is that we will break to the upside, and the other one is that we will break to the downside. Yes, and if there's not a third dimension that we can break into yet, we are not there yet with humanity, but we can go up or we can go down. So I refer to it as a 10K versus the 12K chart or the 11,200 versus the 10,200 chart, because these are the two levels we need to break. If we will be able to break 11,200, we will be going up the next couple of weeks. If we can't hold the support around 10,500, then we could drop to 10,200. And then when we break the 10,200 level, we will fall even down more to maybe 9K or 8K. So it's a very important moment at the moment that Bitcoin needs to decide the direction, up or down. If we move up and break 11,200 US dollar, very positive and we can see a new autumn high at the end of the year if we would break down now and not find support at 10,500 us dollar guys then we could fall all the way down to 9 or 8k so there is a very important moment nearing because this breakout is going to happen very soon so it's very important to keep watching all the charts and of course subscribe to my video and hit the notification bell because I will keep you up to date. I will tell you when it's safe to buy or sell your Bitcoins. I will try to time it right. I'm not a financial advisor, just a dude with his daughter in Portugal, living life and helping you to understand Bitcoin, blockchain and life. And to be very clear guys, if we want to validate the four year cycle we have been trusting on the last decade, then we should break to the upside. If we won't break to the upside, this whole four-year cycle theory is not correct anymore. So it's very important, in my opinion, that we break to the upside. 
because else we could fall all the way ah there down 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 i want to go down i want to go to the blue sea to swim but bitcoin needs to go all the way up there to the sun to the moon we should we still need to go to the chinese store to buy this yeah. cable for the wi-fi because they need wi-fi in the room and we need a wi-fi extender and a cable so let's turn around That's, yeah, that's how we turn around like idiots. That were all the charts for today, guys. So let's move on to the blockchain slash news part. Bam! Yes, she didn't know that we needed the bam on that part. So I didn't tell her yet. So forgive her. She's beautiful. A few short news articles. The first one I'm going to talk about, guys, is that the red BTC version, so there's the ERC20 token of BTC on the Ethereum blockchain, just surpassed the $1 billion. So there is now... 1 billion US dollar stuck in the wrapped BTC protocol on the Ethereum blockchain. So that means that 1 million dollar worth of Bitcoins moved from the Bitcoin blockchain to the wrapped BTC version on the Ethereum blockchain because then they can start to use all the Ethereum functions on their blockchain by wrapping the BTCs. Not just like wrapping my car. You know, it was a white car, you wrap the car and then it's a Bitcoin car. Same with this, you have a Bitcoin, you want to use it on the Ethereum blockchain or on the DeFi industry, you wrap the Bitcoin and then you start to use it on that blockchain. As you can see on this chart, bam, you can see that the red Bitcoins is now 1 billion and indeed we had a growth of 900% in the last year. 900%, that's a lot of growth for the red Bitcoins. Probably more and more Bitcoins will go to this red Bitcoin version of Bitcoin because more and more people are getting interested in the whole DeFi industry and all these opportunities of staking and lending out their Bitcoins. And then the second news, this one you like. Do you, you like music? Yeah. Yeah, you like uh, Kylie B? No, not Kylie B. Cardi B or Kylie Jenner? <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> you know, I'm just a retarded old guy that knows uh, Eddie Van Halen. Do you know Eddie Van Halen? No. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, she doesn't know Eddie Van Halen. He died yesterday or the day before. You should have known him, he was a guitar player. Mm -hmm. But I understand you know Cardi B. Yeah. Yeah. So Cardi B, she has a producer, you know? Mm -hmm. A guy that makes her music and it mixes her music mm -hmm. and it sells her music. Mm -hmm. The producer bought a shitload of Bitcoins and he tweeted this on Twitter to all his 250,000 followers. Guys, yeah man, I'm Cardi B's producer. And not only Cardi B, but also Drake. Do you know Drake? Yeah. Ah, also Drake. And Travis Scott, you know Travis Scott? Yeah. yeah. So he's a producer of all of these. And yes, he just bought Bitcoin because he believes in the power of Bitcoin, the decentralization of the world. And of course, also he wants to hedge into Bitcoin because he wants to protect his capital. Because if the dollar will keep losing value, then he needs to hedge into Bitcoin or gold. But of course, Bitcoin is really cool because all these rappers, Cardi B, and Drake and all these people already talk about Bitcoin daily. They are also investing in Bitcoin, I think. Do you think? Yeah, I think. Do you know one of do you know an artist that owns Bitcoin? Hmm. Huh. Yeah, yeah, we, we listened to the song of uh, Eminem. He's even rapping about Bitcoin. Oh yeah. In one of his songs. So yeah, famous people now start to invest in Bitcoin because they know it's just fucking cool. Do you think Bitcoin is cool? Yeah. At the beginning you didn't think Bitcoin was cool. No. It was like, oh, daddy, you're a nerd. Yeah. And now? And now it's cool. Yeah, because Cardi B has Bitcoin. Cardi Bitcoin. That's why she is Cardi B. The B of Bitcoin. The B of Bitcoin. Uh, Julie? Yeah. And then we go to the third news item. That's the last one, by the way. Um, do you like art? Uh, yeah. Art. Art. I'm art. a Dutch guy. We don't speak very well English. Art. Art, yeah. 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 So there was one art piece. It was a crypto art piece. So it was like the cryptocurrency yeah. art piece, it was sold for 130,000 US dollar at Christie's. Christie's is this huge auction building somewhere, I think mm -hmm. in London or the States, I don't even know where it is. Christie's is the most famous place to auction your art. And now this cryptocurrency piece was sold for 130,000 US dollar. This is also what we refer to an NFT. So you have digital NFTs, but you also have these physical NFTs. And one of these ones, I think it's like 50 meters wide, was sold for 130,000 US dollar. So yes, all these industries, art, music, sports, they are all stepping into this amazing world of Bitcoin because they start to understand the power of a peer-to-peer -peer cash that you can transact all over the world for almost zero fees 
And yes, I know sometimes Bitcoin is expensive, then you can use one, any other version. <laughs> Yes, it is able to transact value all over the world for almost nothing. And now these huge industries of sport, art and music start to understand the power of decentralization and the disruption of money. And as you know, the whole rap scene in the 90s, they were all fighting the governments. So they will now understand that this Bitcoin is a revolution, is a disruption of the monetary system that we don't support anymore. So they will start to write more and more music and kick ass songs about Bitcoin here, I got my Bitcoin there, I got my Bitcoin stash motherfucking everywhere. That was my song. Shit, I now just told them my secret song. If you saw yesterday's video, guys, you know where the Bitcoins are stashed. I showed you. Well, I showed you a beautiful bikini, babe, as well, because, you know, we need more views. Why are you not wearing a bikini? Next time, if we get 5,000 thumbs up, she will wear a bikini next time. You're never going to get that 5,000 <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> It's almost impossible. <laughs> she was already worried. Oh my God, if my channel goes that big, wow. Then we would be even bigger than um, Cardi B. No. no. No? How many fans does Cardi B have? A few, like, million. Uh, we, uh, we have 10k subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I need to work some more. But guys, please, if you did like today's video and all the information and my daughter appearing in it, give the video a thumbs up subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment because I love to respond to your comments. It's really cool that we broke the 10K resistance level with subscribers. We are now aiming for 25K subscribers. And after 25K, we are going to reach 100K subscribers. But yeah, let's see how many years that will take us. Next time, when you join me for filming, can you then also remind me that I film when we go to the Chinese? Because we told the people we were going to the Chinese. What did you buy? So when you want to buy something in Portugal, you want to buy it cheap, you just go to the hyper China. You said there was a Dutch restaurant over here? No, the Dutch store. The Dutch store? Yeah. Like selling Dutch stuff? Yeah, Hagesla. 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 Weed? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Let's check what they're selling. If you go Dutch, you never go back. Holland is a delicatessen winkel. This is your They even have vlogging, man. Vlokken, Harenslag, Calvé, Pijnenburg. All Dutch. Helemaal gevulde koeken. Oh my god, Julie. Check what I just found in Portugal. You know how many coffee I drink? Yeah, I know. They have Tower Edwards. Oh, Spekkoek. Frikandelle okay, Virginia. Are you happy? Yeah. Dutch food. Mm -hmm. How many frikandellen did we buy? 40. 40. How long do you think we uh, will have those 40 frikandellen? Three days. <laughs> and they will be gone. Frikandellen! <laughs> hey! Hey! Echte kalve! What do you like most? Frikandelle, 40 frikandelle. Thanks for watching. I wish you guys an amazing day. And please always remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what makes life worth living. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye. Anything else you want to add? No. Your telephone number? No. You don't want to date guys? No. Portuguese guys? Mm -mm, I'm good. But you're good. Yeah, I'm good. So who you're dating? Myself. Me, myself and I. Yeah. Uh, it's also a song. Do you know the song? Yeah, I know the song. I think it was De La Soul. Me, myself and I.